So this question is part of the Pearson correlation questions. It's combined with the next question. It's looking at a scatter plot. And like I mentioned in the overview, I was going to get the updated question because I have this added piece, this based on the visual inspection piece. So it's not just creating the scatter plot, but also looking at the scatter plot and what does the scatter plot tell us and how do we know that? Okay. So the y axis needs to go up to 10, the x axis needs to go up to 12. I want to make sure that I draw my lines long enough for that. Um, I need to finish this part right here. I need to label my axes. If there are variable names, then by all means put those on the axes. This question just says x and y, so I put those on the axes. This is your y axis, this is your x axis, and then I need to put values on the axes. I don't need to label every one, every value. I know that that can get sort of squishy in there. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is uh, my habit is to label alternating ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, I went further than I needed to. And now I plot them. So x two, comma two, there's one here, three, comma six, three, comma four, nine. Pin 10, 6, and 6, 8, and 7, and 12, and 8. So that's my scatter plot. I'm not done because I have to do this piece. Looking at the scatter plot, you don't have to run any numbers. Look at the scatter plot. Do you expect a positive or a negative correlation? And why? Well, if I were to draw a line through my data, it's sloping upwards to the right. This is the slope of a positive correlation. So would you expect a positive or negative correlation value? Positive. And then in terms of why um, slopes upward, to the right, or you could say larger values on X. Are associated with larger values on Y. Starting to get off the screen there, right? So when we have these larger values of x, they're also larger values of y, and smaller values of x are associated with smaller values of y. So that's a positive correlation. If we had seen a negative correlation, it would be going down this way. And then the less slope that you have, the more it goes towards horizontal, okay? So the, the more it goes towards the horizontal, the smaller the strength of the correlation and um, the more likely that you're seeing a zero order correlation.